I have salutations! This is something thoughtful, and welcome to my next LP, Project Singularity. I almost said Project Pandemic, it's clearly not that anyway. I apparently don't have any save files again. How'd that happen? Anyway, um, yeah, let's create a game file on this planet. <clears throat> you know what? We're playing Super Mario Galaxy. Let's be Mario. You can see some of my random me's down there. So, yes! Super Mario Galaxy, and we can make him spin if we want, which, why? So yeah, let's play this file. So yes, I'm pretty sure you can tell what my do up he is anyway. Explanational dialogue. Big deal. Uh, it's not that important. This is a video game that I am playing. I don't even know. Random beep. But yes, it's basically explaining that we got a grand star. And that happens every hundred years, because apparently, years in the Mushroom Kingdom, <coughs> I don't even know. I, I, uh, yeah, Peach. She's got a letter for us that I just completely skipped through super fast, and Mario is going. Yes, this game. Haven't played this in a while. As let's move to my LPs, and we can do side flips, triple jump. And we can do the long jump, and the backflip, and yeah, it's all the usual 3D Mario controls. I just kind of picked this up and started. And yeah, you can do the wall jump and everything. All the controls, all the usual controls are there. Anyway, we can click star bits. The toads probably don't have anything important to say. Evening Mario, welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom, you know, the usual. What? Okay, I have to talk to you. Hey, uh, you want to grab as many of the star bits as you can. What is he, the banker from the second game? Spoilers. Anyway, let's go. And yeah, if they're asking if we're collecting the things, which we can collect with this pointer here. That's just kind of on the screen. And yeah, you get a nice view of the castle from here, actually. This place is interesting. Anyway, let's just keep going. This, this game's one of the... Mario 3D platforms. This is the first one I'm playing, apparently. It's it's a great game. I just It was between this and a uh, cutscene. Yes. It was between this and um what's gonna be my next LP for this LP and I um chose to do well You'll you'll Yeah, I'm not gonna go into that too much. But yeah. This game, another one that takes place in space. What's with me in space right now? I don't even know. But yeah. Mario's dodging meteor storm out of nowhere that's coming from the Koopa Troop. Yes, that's what they're called. And yeah, they have a nice evil flag, apparently. But yeah, this is just pretty intense, actually. It's just all of a sudden this. But yeah, I, I don't know. She has a what seriously looks like an inflatable Luma. Like, seriously, is that like a Luma balloon? I know we don't know what Lumas are yet, but who cares? This is a rather long cutscene, but it does have this music, which, even though I know it's the airship music, it always reminds me of Dark Mountain Forest in the past, which is one of my favorite VGMs, actually. And yes, Bowser has the right voice in this game. That's a lovely voice, doesn't he have? And the Toads are fight hiding behind the princess they're supposed to be guarding. This game, like, one problem I have with it is it tries too hard to be epic. That's, I think, this game's biggest flaw. And that's why, like, I think Galaxy 2 actually does a better job of being epic. Because it tries... doesn't try as hard. Anyway, we, can f we can't actually free the Toads yet. Because we don't have that ability yet. Anyway, um, where'd my pointer go? Um, yeah, I have to hold my hand kind of high up to actually have the pointer appear on screen. And yes... The festival's room, stay calm, stay- wait, what does he say? <laughs> he probably says, like, stay calm, everyone, and as he's panicking, anyway, let's, um, get on with me getting stuck behind a bench. So, of course, that's gonna happen. We can't really go into any of these houses, so, um, the princess is this way, um, yeah, this all starts happening. Apparently, it's too horrible for words, so let's go over here. Oh, yeah, I can't save them. I <laughs> go to my happy place. Princess is just ahead, um... Let's take the path. You'll notice this area is very similar to another 64 Mario game. That's super. Anyway, great camera angle for going over here and taking this route, which 
feels more like you're supposed to. I don't think the cannonballs... I, I kind of want to find out. Can the cannonballs hit you if they... Do they shoot in the same spot again? Okay, yes, they can. You could die here. That's good to know. <laughs> anyway, continue along. Let's go over here. Oh, uh, it's blocked. By a clearly impenetrable fence. Anyway, let's them um, continue onwards. And hopefully not get slaughtered by another cannonball. Anyway, we made it to the castle. So, another cutscene. Which, like, Bowser has a UFO that never appears again in the game. Which is just kind of funny. And, uh, once again, Bowser being the flashy villain that he is. He doesn't just kidnap Peach. No, that's far too boring. He uses his lasers that he has for some reason from this UFO that he has for some reason. And he... Of course, being Bowser, he can't just kidnap a princess. He kidnaps an entire castle. Again, what is this? Paper Mario? For the N64? I don't know. I don't know, this is, again, this is this game trying too hard to be epic, in my opinion. But, that's neither there nor here. The castle is being lifted and pulled away into space. Which apparently there's air in because no one in the Mushroom Kingdom needs to breathe. One of those two. It's kind of epic. Yeah, clouds. Yeah. But yeah, it like seems to fall like the um, Sonic curse. Anyway, that UFO, never to be seen again in the game after it leaves the scene. I don't know. Cam probably made it. Anyway, um, yeah. Speaking of Cam, I, I'll get to that. Anyway, we have another kept scene. This is actually canonically Camic. Just this one. Only right here. The rest of the Magic Koopas are just Magic Koopas. This one apparently is Kamek. Which is why it can own Mario's face off. With this crazy, like, attack that goes, like, the everywhere. Anyway! I'm pretty sure you all know what game this is by now, right? It's Super Mario Galaxy. And it's my next LP. But you know what? You wanna know something? Cause you'd be wrong. We're not... Because you'd be wrong. We're playing Super Luigi Galaxy. That's what this LP actually is. Why? Well, because I like Luigi a lot more than Mario, essentially. I know other people have done this before, but I'm just like... Yeah. He's Luigi. He's better. <laughs> that, well, in my opinion. I, I, I love Luigi. Anyway, I'm, I'll go over it. That's kind of why I did like a demo of Mario's moves, because his animations are different, Luigi's. Like, there's his long jump. He is slippery. Basically, if memory serves, I don't know, I haven't played this game in forever, but I'm going to play as Luigi, because he's Luigi. Anyway, I'm going to completely jump right past them as the cutscene starts, so let's play hide and seek, and, um, I have no idea how long my episode is now. <laughs> I completely lost track, so <laughs> we want to find these guys. Let's jump into this pit, because there's a bunny in there. Anyway, let's get him. Oh, we are faster than them because we are Luigi. But at the same time, that, basically. And his jumps are different, I think, but we'll get there. As I chase this bunny, I can I catch this bunny. And I got caught. I, I got caught him. Yes. English. If only he'd hidden in a pipe. Well, pipe, eh? Also, Luigi's triple jump if I can pull it off. Which I can't. This is a side... Controls, this... Okay, so, um... I can't pull off anything right now. Um... Seriously? Okay. Okay, well... First of all, that's his long jump. This is his back flip. There we go, that's his side flip end. That's his triple jump. Okay, there we go. Now that I'm happy I've turned off the controls, let's go into this pipe that we are obviously supposed to go into and come out on the other side of the planet. And there's a bunny. So let's get him. If we can, stop running in circles and catch him would be nice. I know, like, I've heard anyway that the faster person is Luigi, so I should be able to catch the bunny. And I caught him. If only he hid in the... In the grass. Um, yes. Thank you for the hint. Anyway, these... Oh, yeah. I still can't do that, dirt. I'm expecting to be able to do, like, the major move of this game already, but I haven't unlocked it yet. So, here's some grass. 
Also, zoom out view right there. And there's the last of the bunnies. So let's chase him. Also, you may have noticed by now this is a gravity-based platformer, and um, I'm upside down. Yeah. I haven't played this game in a while, so I hopefully won't get too disoriented by it. But yeah. Super Yoshi... Uh, Super Luigi Galaxy now. We've already done Super Yoshi Galaxy. What's next? Super... I don't know. Fawful Galaxy? Might be what I call this episode, actually. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we caught all of you. Now we'll create a castle. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we need to help their mom, apparently. So we need to fight the fight the mother Luma. Yes, fight the mother Luma. And if I can't get that move to work more, it's going to drive me nuts. I have to like brush up on these controls or something. Anyway, it's the Mother Luma, which is Rosalina, who's a pretty cool character, honestly. She, like, I have, no, I'm not going to say that, that's made for people. But, like, she seems like almost like a deity like character in the, um, Mario universe, I guess. I said it, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so a Luma goes into us, and now we can spin. Yay. So now if we um, shake the moat, the moat, yes, if we shake the moat, we can spin. Because she vanishes, because, yeah. Anyway, see, yeah, you can spin now, which is the major gimmick of this game, as we um, learn that we can break these things. Yay! And suddenly this thing, which we can go into and launch through space, which is pretty cool. Sometimes there'll be um, star bits to get while you're doing this, and... Black holes are bottomless pits, and black holes, the center of a black hole is the singularity, hence the name for this LP, which we can play. So let's! Oh yeah, I got an additional Luigi, so that's what those green mushrooms do! We haven't seen no- Okay, actually we haven't seen those before the first. That's the spot Yoshi, despite having like the most one-ups, doesn't actually have the green mushrooms in it. Anyway, on this one... Luigi has more air control than ground control, so you might want to take advantage of that as I mash the A button, and I do a side flip. Anyway, let's long jump into this warp star and go over here to this planet where things happen as we... Because I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but because of the way I'm um, currently recording this, I have to use um the... basically the off my computer part of the capture card thing to see what I'm doing, and that's not the greatest quality. Anyway, these are like one of the very few enemies in the game that um, when you spin into them, they die immediately, and you can get a coin from it. Magikoopas are actually another member anyway. Um, I could have sworn I was looking for a big Goomba here, but I guess I'm just looking for this dude. Hey, I did this home and stomp, and he didn't have the keys. Seriously, what? Oh, do I have to? Do I have to talk to you? Yes. Okay, are you... Oh. You have to talk to that Luma or the enemy won't spawn. I did not know that. That's what I get for trying to skip explanational dialogue in a Mario game, apparently. Anyway, crazy gravity jumps. Let's talk to this Luma. He's going to transform into a thing so he can launch up there. I don't know. Personally, I think at least these ones can transform back. I don't know. I think actually all of them can, personally. I really don't know. Anyway, let's go this way. Huge Goomba. Just as easy as any other Goomba. Which is good. So we got the key. And we've rescued the Goomba's buddy thing, person. So yeah, let's go find that Goomba's buddy person thing. Anyway, we have to talk to it again. Hurry, down here. Yes, that's where I was going. You were in the way. So, suddenly, more dialogue. Yes, we need to get that grand star that seems they'd be making, like, I don't know, a normal star out of it? I don't know. Anyway, let's get it. Yes, we must stop the machine thing. Device thing. I don't know, I'm not going to make the reference I was going for there, because no one would even get it. But that's okay. We need to basically hit all these switches. I think I've hit the next one already. Yes, I have. Anyway. So we're going to hit them all. And 
this guy's gonna tell us to hit them all because we've almost done that already so yeah that would actually be the first star in its entirety I am gonna be getting more than one star done per video in later videos this one had just a lot of like opening shenanigans and well yeah we got ourselves a grand star Ah, I shouldn't have talked over that. I love how Luigi says star there. Oh well. I'll get another chance later to show that off. Anyway, um, I'm actually gonna run this LP differently than like literally every LP I've seen of these games ever. You'll see. You will indeed see when I get to it anyway. First of all though, they're going to um turn on the beacon. Which is the star that powers this place. Which is good because that's important. You'll see though what I'm gonna do. It'll it'll become obvious soon enough. And this is how I plan to do like all the um three dead Marios, so if you don't like it, well too bad. It's I think it's different, which is nice. It's not your standard way to do anyway, we got a star from the Great Day Galaxy from the Great Way Galaxy, the Grand Star Rescue. And anyway, we've discovered a new galaxy, so we can go there next time anyway. Cutscenes in a Mario game. I'm not used to having like these long things yet, but yeah, she's gonna basically tell us what's going on. I already know what's going on, so I don't care. This is yeah, text dialogue. Um, explain this. And they, someone Bowser stole all their stars, star bits, and grand stars. So um, yeah, they're kind of screwed because of evil cosmic Bowser. Like <laughs> what? That's, again, trying to look way too epic. And yes, please, they have a request. This game doesn't have full voice action because of how well that went in Sunshine, where Bowser sounds more like a dad than a villain. Anyway, yeah, we need to get more stars so we can, you know, yeah, go basically get the stars to try and stop Bowser from doing things. They're at the center of the universe with Peach, and that's our objective because we like Peach too. Anyway, I'm gonna save my game because they actually give you the option in this game, unlike the sequel. But I'm probably gonna do it every time anyway. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. Welcome to the game. Welcome to my next LP, Project Singularity Super. Um, well, I'm probably gonna call it Super Mario Galaxy Luigi Run or something like that because, well, someone already used Super Luigi Galaxy and that wouldn't be easy to find. Anyway, yeah. Hope you all enjoy. I think there's something in here for me. Yeah, there's a one up there. There's those everywhere in this game. Lives are never an issue in this game. Anyway, I'm rambling now. See y'all next time. Hopefully this was actually a full episode.